ऑनरेबल मेंबर जानवी शर्मा थैंक यू स्पीकर सर नमस्कार टू दी ऑनरेबल पार्लियामेंटेरियंस टुडे आई स्टैंड हियर टू अपोज द प्रोपोजिशन दैट सजेस्ट कॉम्पेंसेटिंग एस्पिरेंस इन द केस ऑफ अ पेपर लीक during public examinations and recovering the compensation from the person in charge but the proposed solution is not only impractical but also unjustified and unfair while we acknowledge that this is a very serious situation and the impact on candidates is also immense to understand the impracticality let us first look at the numbers this year about 25 lakh candidates appeared for the neat examination the examination fee itself was 1600 rupees this alone sums up to rupees 400 crores and i have not even considered other expenses like transportation which each and every candidate had to bear are we talking of compensating this amount hang on a moment we know that the people who leaked the papers did it to fill their own pockets but did they earn this kind of money that's improbable will they ever be able to pay this amount as compensation impossible now for an ever more fundamental question i ask you worthy parliamentarians can there be any sort of compensation for the hard work and sleepless nights put in by these 25 lakh candidates think about the hardship of the parents especially when they came from underprivileged backgrounds just imagine the difficulties of the daughter of the vegetable seller living in gharsana who had to travel by multiple means in order to reach the exam center someone had to accompany and if they did not have an early morning train or bus they had to sleep on the railway station also identifying the real culprits is not an easy job especially considering the corruption in the investigation agencies and on top of that the condition that the guilt needs to be established in the court of law which could take years and years which leads me to my final question honorable speaker how are we as representatives of the nation and as future of mother india going to put a price tag on the blood sweat and tears of the candidates and their families in conclusion while we sympathize with the candidates it is important to understand that compensation is not the solution and instead we need to focus on better policies and ensure the prevention so that no one ever dares to mess with the future of our nation again thank you